Heather Lucas Markwar of the Thoroughbred Daily News. Jerry and Maury Shields had originally planned on sending Country House through the ring as a yearling at Keeneland September. Their nephew, Guinness McFadden, however, suggested that they retain and race the colt. McFadden co-owns Blackwood Stables with his business partner, Matt Hogan, and Blackwood broke and trained Country House. Sadly, Jerry Shields passed away last October, but Country House has carried his colors and the family name to classic glory. From the start, Bill had been telling me that this was a throwback type of horse, a horse that you could run, a big tough horse that would eat all of its feed and was extremely sound and had a good mind, was easy on himself in the stall, just looked like that type of horse. That was the plan he laid out from the start, you know, go to Louisiana twice, Arkansas and then Kentucky. So that was what, what Bill wanted to do from the get-go. I was very surprised at the odds. I don't know if you go back and look at his last breeze, before the race, um, I was very surprised. I expected him to be 20, 30 to one, but I was very surprised that he was 65 to one, even considering the post. I didn't think it mattered. He's never been a horse that has broke well, and I don't know what happened differently this time, but he broke very sharply and just kind of put Flavian, I think, right where he wanted to be. We were a little concerned that he was gonna to be too close to the pace, especially considering how fast they were going. But, you know, he just sat there and just relaxed, so I think that's what you want. I didn't really know what was going on when I first walked down onto the track, you know, like you do to see how the horse came out and talk to the jockey and all of that stuff, and I didn't even realize what was going on until we looked up at the board. And um, yeah, that was a long wait, but it's like when you're watching a basketball game and it's at the end of the deal and if the officials seem to take a long time, it's all, it always seems like they're always deciding where, what time to put back on the clock. So a couple minutes in, I started to feel pretty anxious. I didn't, I didn't see what had happened live. It wasn't until I started to see the replays on the board that I actually saw what had happened because it was difficult to see live in the race. Everyone was back in the box and I don't think they had quite realized what was happening. We, they were packing up and getting ready to leave. I think my aunt was you know, on our way out, we were trying to get out quickly and beat the rush. And I think once everybody then realized what was happening, they stayed. It was super, she's a celebrity now. <laughs> no, I couldn't have, couldn't have been happier for her. She's put so much more in, they've put so much time and effort into the game that it was, it was really rewarding to see that. To me personally, it's kind of a life altering event. I've got so many more new friends now, and all of a sudden I'm the same guy, but now <laughs> my opinion matters. It's kind of silly, but I mean, for Blackwood, it's the same thing. It's huge. We're not doing anything differently tomorrow than we did yesterday, but now all of a sudden there's another newfound level of credibility because we've had a, a derby winner come through here. We've had, you know, a bunch of stake horses come off the farm, um, but the derby's different.